Okay guys, so I told you how to take this uh, winding apart. I'm just going to kind of show you that. Cause some people are asking some questions, they're kind of interested. Um, this is a, used to be, I believe it was either a one or a one and a half horsepower motor. Three phase, uh, 270, 480 volts. You can hook it up to either, <clears throat> depending on how you wire it. And basically, uh, basically these three windings here um, is a set. This is a set, and this is a set. I've already got some out here. When you open these up, they're usually coated in a solid um, resin of some sort. They're all kind of a little different. Um, as you can see here, this one is uh, really thick. Uh, I've taken approximately, I don't know, 10 of these apart. And uh, I've gotten two that I can actually take apart that it's usable. Um, but basically, you can take a rubber hammer and kind of tap around on this stuff and get them to break up. And then, uh, as you can see, the slit that's here, it used to be a, a, a really hard paper in there. It's right here I got out with the uh, pair of pliers. It's some really tough stuff. I've taken a couple motors apart that were this type of material. was really soft, and you couldn't pull it out. So that, was, that one's pretty much junk. Um, they also have paper usually on the inside here. Uh, I call it paper, whatever it is. It's some sort of a, a mesh paper of some sort. It's really, really good stuff. It's hard stuff. But um, you have to work one of those out at a time. I usually get in there with a screwdriver and a pair of needle nose and kind of peel it off. I, you'll just have to play with that. Um, and then, uh, like I said, take a rubber mallet and kind of beat around on this stuff. And you see it's very, very, very hard. Oh, I'm shaking trying to get it. Um, you can get this stuff broken up and uh, get it apart and then uh, basically you just got to find your end. Um, I would usually start on the outside winding. So find your end here and then just pull one out at a time and pull a couple out and a couple more out and keep coming. I usually do one whole side and then come over and get the other side and then pull that out in a bunch. Set it aside, do the next one, set it aside and the next one. Uh, it is very tedious. Um, the very first about two or three sets are the hardest. Once you get past that, it gets a lot easier. Um, the beginning one took me about two hours to take out. The second one took about an hour, and the third one took about ten minutes. So uh, I got three more left. Um, uh, yeah, but uh, here's what I got. Basically, your three windings. Here's one set. Uh, here's another set, and there's the other set. So there's three sets, and if you untwist them and take them out, you have to pull them through each other to get all the wires, but uh, to lay the same direction. But you can do that, and then basically you take this and wrap it around something that that fits tight, and slowly unwrap it. Um, as you can see, uh, how bent up and um, twisted, knotted, kinked. Um, this takes a while to straighten out. Um, it's very tedious work, but again, uh, with no cash flow, this is all we got to work with, so, uh, it's better than nothing. Uh, what else? Uh, I guess from there, I usually take it, like I said, wrap it on something, unwind it, and then I usually run it through, uh, I got a pair of gloves here, nice leather gloves, um, you can see, uh, where the marks are, I used to use them for the wire, but basically get a spool, uh, put it on a drill of some sort, a handheld drill or something you can control the uh, speed with. And you can put this on something that you can get it off. It, it takes a while, but you can do it and then run it uh, through your hands. And um, basically what you're doing is uh, you almost want to run it. I usually run it through my fingers like this, but with a glove on. So this would be tied to your drill and then you'd be unwinding it on the other side. And what that does, set the camera down. What that does is... Uh, See how bent up this is here. Uh, if I take it and run it through my finger, both directions, I'll do it about twice. There's three times. Now you can see how straight it is. Okay, I did that by running that through my fingers. Now that's what you have to do to get this wire straight again. Uh, I usually do it about two or three times in order to get it straight. Um, and then there's always this coating on there. The stuff you can see it. It's coated on there. These are all still stuck together. Uh, as you run it through your hands, that will slowly kind of chip off. There'll still be some on there. It's not going to be perfect wire, but that's all I got to work with. 
uh, when it's all said and done, you can have a nice spool of wire. Uh, this actually came off of a motor. You can see how nice it is. You see how there's still some junk stuck to the wire. Um, but again, uh, recycling copper wire takes time. And it's not perfect. Um, if you get in a bind with the first couple, uh, you know, when they get all twisted up, I try to keep them separated in my hands while I take it apart. Um, it's just, it's, it's time consuming. You just got to keep working at it. But like I said, if it fails just cut the one out and then try the second winding on that set at least you'll get some and once you get towards the end it's a lot easier um, and I'm gonna guess about four or five hours to take one of these apart maybe longer um, that's it that's all I got for you so like I said a lot of you asking questions thought I'd just make a quick video um, and then this will be on my little coal and my uh, April wind here is my toroids with my wire in them. Thought I'd show you those real quick. Um, said the slinky. Um, I'm gonna coat these with something. I'll tell you what I do when I do it because it's kind of a, uh, a surprise. I got a good idea in my head. I'll see how it turns out before I tell you how to do it. <laughs> so there you go. Um, all right. See. You. All right. I'm going to. Um, show you how to unwind this I'm gonna run it in time-lapse I believe it took around 10 minutes um, to unwind the second winding I had which was I think this one actually be the third one um, so I'm gonna time-lapse it's 10 minutes I'm gonna put it in about a minute or so um, you'll see it hit it All right later okay here we go I'm gonna take apart one winding hopefully I get a good one <laughs> 